guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Raina. If you're new here, then welcome. Welcome to today's video. I know it's long overdue. I haven't done this for a while. But here we are. We are reviewing some Asian sunscreens. The main reason for dedicating on an Asian sunscreen is because I went to Hong Kong uh, this summer and obviously when you go shopping for me some are loving sunscreens and reviewing them and hearing all these good things about asian sunscreen i would definitely pick a few up and there are a couple that i received through salvana and purchased from yet style so i just combined them together and i thought i'll oh, rank them as always from my least favorite to my favorite but i have to say up front there is no one single sunscreen that I was like, oh, I don't recommend you purchase. They're actually all pretty good. That is one thing I love about Asian sunscreen. They just have a great, like, minimum standard. And that is so much better than a lot of the Western ones. I do found Australian sunscreen are getting so much better. I've been currently testing some Aussie sunscreen along with, you know, other country sunscreens and I found that they're better than when I start testing sunscreens which is like three years ago so yeah I am really actually generally surprised in general with how everything um been performing on my face and my body but I'll just give you my details review in a second so if you like sunscreen reviews don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i do have a whole list of a lot of the sunscreen that i reviewed in the last just three years tinted non-tinted chemical mineral and mixture for body for um, kids for face asian sunscreens aussie sunscreen all the popular ones overseas like polar's choice australian bepending gold etc etc so check those out if you are wondering because i have I feel like there's a high chance of some of the sunscreen you're after I've already reviewed. If not, leave your comments down below so I can get my hands on to it. The reason why I haven't been doing that many sunscreen reviews or that frequent sunscreen reviews is because I started to track my skincare inventories. You might watch one of my only one. I only started recently, the cleanser inventory. And I've realized how many products that I've got in my collection that I don't want to keep purchasing and not be able to finish using them and got wasted and then tossing them away. I don't like the idea of wasting it. I purchase everything with my own money and even if not i don't like things going waste i just feel like really bad i feel so goody when it happens um so accessory is something that have a lot of like restrictions there are certain expiry date that you can't use and you don't need to apply it every night it's not like a moisturizer that i can just have it loaded at nighttime and during the day you only need it when i go outside and the work that i do lucky enough i work in medical imaging department in a hospital so i actually have no windows at where i work because we need a very dimmed light like if you walk into the room most of my patients fell asleep halfway through if the scan is taking too long because that's what we need so the only time that i need sunscreen is on holiday and when i'm like filming at home today i somehow actually close my curtain so i have a better lighting otherwise the lights just in and out and you see the shadowing when i go to work i definitely apply sunscreen in the morning by the time I finish work, if it's during the winter time, I'm out and the sun's already gone, moon's out. So I really feel like I don't have a ordinary normal life that I need to apply that much of sunscreen. But again, I definitely have days that I don't do the best of actually applying it. So I should be really good and working on that myself as well. So a bit of um, explaining of the excuses. If you are feeling like I'm a bit of lack of sunscreen review, this is what's been happening. And I'm I'm actually backing on track because I finally finished a lot of the sunscreen that I reviewed over the last three years. Some of I expire. So I actually starting to purchase more and getting into another cycle review new sunscreen but i'm being more cautious this time so you might not see as frequent but i will still give you my very dedicated honest review without further ado now let's just dive into it the first one i'll talk about are the two coming from the same brand by the make prime i've got their uv defines me line i got these two send it as a pr through stylana a while back i don't think they are working with me anymore because i have a discount code but it's been invalid recently i tried to contact them and no one's getting back to me so that's fine i do still have the um referral code from stylana as if you join the first time you get certain discount i will have the description in details in the description below so you can check it out if it's the first time purchasing or if you know someone's having a better affiliated code definitely go ahead i want to talk about this lightweight sun fluid for face and body care first 
we have SPF 50 plus, PA plus, 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 four pluses. So it's a really good high coverage. The SPF is the same as in what we see the sunscreen here in Australia, means how much UVB is protecting. And the PA plus, it's a different regulation way of to test UVA protection, unlike what we hear using board spectrum. We use PA plus, 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 plus in Asia. All the Asian sunscreen using this particular regulation, the more pluses, the better, the more it against the UV damage. This is a big bottle of 150 ml and we have around, I'll say 20 to 30 or 20, 30 to $40 of retail price. I've checked the price on Yetstar and Stelvana and they're always fluctuated because of uh, the sales that are going on and whether you have a discount code or not. I do have a long-term discount code from Yetstar, which is called Yesrena to give you, I think it's like 2-3% to 5% off regardless. So you can also apply with another promotion code. So you have two discount codes at the same time. I do like that from Style. Uh, yet style. Uh, but do check the price, see which one is more affordable and then make your decisions. But I'll leave the links of both of the products that I can found on both websites below. It is claimed to be a combined physical and chemical filtered sunscreen with a skin through the ingredients and it's a lightweight lotion to create a matte finish and refresh feeling. It is fragrance essential oil free. So I love all the claims here. Pretty straightforward, clear. You know exactly what you're purchasing for. Looking at the ingredients here, the chemical filters that we've got is Uvino A+, which is a new generation ingredient. This one gives a really high UVA protection. And then we also have Uvino T150. This one is another great new generation chemical filter against all UVB. So you already have two new generation chemical filters to against both A and B rays. And then we also have the physical um, ingredient of titanium dioxide. So I really like the ingredient of how they have here. For soothing ingredient for skincare wise, I think the only one that I think is worth mentioning is the Centella Asiatica Extract. These days in the Asian beauty, you see more Centella products in pretty much every single bottle. Ever since the Skin 1004 sat to doing it, that's how I found it first time. And then it just like, it brought to everything, even like the product here in Australia, like the Ole one that I'm currently using, it's a Sika and Niacinamide Serum. It become more widely available and accepted by everyone, which is good through the ingredient hydrating and nourishing one. But I don't think they're heavy on skincare. It's more of really a sunscreen heavy based product. I don't think you can use it as a day cream slash sunscreen. You do have to apply skincare separately. What I found about this particular one, it, it it's coming as a milky lotion texture and it has this like squeezing tube design. It's really good for you to control the amount because it's kind of like a rainier. And it's definitely giving a wide cast. Not a lot, but slightly, especially when I apply it to my face. Before I get onto my neck, I can see this obvious color discoloration. As well as when I apply it on my arms. A very obvious experience when I'm using this on my body. I can tell when I'm applying sunscreen. And all around the creases in my elbow, over time, it had those white lines creasing into the uh, wrinkle lines there. So it's not one of those invisible finish it definitely has a bit of a white casting going on it does provide a little bit of instant refresh feeling as it claims and i feel like they might have a little bit of an alcohol in it because the other product in their line specific said it's no alcohol where this one they didn't mention anything so i feel like they probably add a little bit and i don't mind that especially using for my body because it's a body and face sunscreen my personal experience of this one is more for the body rather than the face and I worry less about my white cast when it goes to my body because it does absorb quickly and it's easily to spread in large areas of skin, thigh, even the back, the chest the area. I just don't have to take a lot of effort to get it absorbed, although it has a little bit of white cast. I think it's give a matte finish and especially feels quite mattified but it somewhat give a little bit of shine i'm not quite sure it's actually a shine or it's because the wide cast it gives me a false feeling of it looks shiny under the sun it has no stain around my face and i don't think it has any peeling unless you apply with makeup I don't know what it happens, but when I apply with makeup, I have a higher chance of it's peeling. And because of the white cast, I actually don't like how my makeup goes on. It changes the shade that I've using, the 
things that I normally then use on a daily basis, I have to work around with this sunscreen. So I don't think it's a bad one, but it's definitely, I have more that I love a little bit more. For example, there are um, soothing physical sun cream formulated with zinc. This is a calming sunscreen, same line, same brand, but I definitely love this more. This one again is an SPF 50 plus, PA plus 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 plus, so four pluses over here. It is a cream and is more expensive. We have 50 mils here and retails around $30. This one claims to have no white cast with a natural matte finish and it's alcohol fragrance and essential oil free where this one only mentioned fragrance and essential oil so I think the uh, alcohol in here is giving that fresh feeling. This is a physical sunscreen, so pure mineral ingredient. We have zinc oxide here. I don't know how much because a lot of information I got is in Korea. So I went through to check their ingredient list. Zinc oxide is second on their ingredient list. So I'm hoping what well, they should have at least 15 to 20% or at least more than 10% because that's when it starts to working and because they passed the regulations I'm expecting a relatively high concentration here, but I don't know exactly It also contains bamboo water hyaluronic acid as well as active components of centella asiatica So it feels a lot more nourishing on the face to start with it definitely comes with a more creamy texture and we have a squeezing tube here unlike the tube that we had with the other one you can tell based on the design this is going to be a more cream type of product and where this is more liquid it gives me minimal to no white cast when i use it i really like it and i do agree again this is a matte finish I can use it with or without makeup, no peeling, no sting. It feels more enjoyable when I was using it. I actually prefer to use this over my face and body because it's not that hard to blend. It takes a little bit longer than this one, but not long enough that you start to complain or you feel much of a difference. But the finish of this one is way better. However, it is a little bit more expensive and I, I can actually see why this is more expensive because I love this one more. It also says this one is a vegan product at the back. The thing with the product I'm trying for the Korean brand is I don't have much of information and then I can search it out in different languages but I feel like they might have different formulations because of restrictions when they're imported to different countries. So I found everything that I can find on their website and then search in English just in case. And then the next one I'm going to talk about is by this brand, I feel it's called Jilgot. I, I, I really don't know how to say this name. Let's not try it. Let's just show. I purchased this one from uh, Yet Style actually a while back, but I just opened this recently and it's not expired. This is their Snail UV Sun Block. It's SPF 50 plus, PA plus plus plus. So we have three pluses rather than the four that I mentioned from Make Prem. Snail Things is a, such a popular, I guess, a theme to skincare or ingredient or trend these days. When I purchase this, no one's talked about it. I just like Snail. I feel like it gives extra nourishment to my skincare routine. Nothing too special. And I don't think this one, it's particularly focused on that. It's a relatively affordable price, which is why I purchased in the first place. It's around $20 here in Australia. All the money, like, I'm talking about dollars are in Australian dollar and we got 70 mil in here. This one claims to be a water resistant non-sticky cream gives no white cast and a lightweight finish. Looking at the ingredients here we have a bit of a mixture of chemical and physical uh, ingredients. We have oxanoxate. I think that's how you say this name. I always get confused with this particular ingredient, but it's one of those traditional chemical filters for UVB absorption. Um, it's not very photostable. That means a getting less effectively in a relatively quick time in a short period and it does not protect any uva and then we also have a titanium dioxide as the other sun care ingredient those are the two i found i didn't found anything else again if i was wrong let me know in the comments below if you have a more 
like updated and correct detail information about it because I feel like the ingredient they have for against the UVA UVB is kind of on the weak side compared to the makeup prime that I just mentioned they all have heavy on chemical filters but I do found this one is having a better experience. That might be also the reason why. So straight away, I won't recommend you to use this if you're going outside for a whole day outdoor. Rather, if you're going to work just in the morning or after work or just in and out of the gym, you know, this short period, I think it's okay. And it's actually really pleasant to use. It did say at the back, it says children combined. So I guess it means you can use it on the kids as well. Again, not for outdoor swimming or running in the playground, but rather, you know, in and out quick sessions. That's good. For skincare ingredients, I found they have Arbutin here, which is great for skin brightening. And I'm really surprised seeing this in the sunscreen because Arbutin is some ingredient, even the ordinary have a serums for, which I am about to film an ordinary, um, Best seller recommendations so for the upcoming November sale because they have that slow November sale every year and that's my favorite moment from The Ordinary. So we're going to go through some ordinary products. If you love that video idea, don't forget to stay tuned for that video and maybe consider subscribe to my channel. Anyway, uh, the other ingredient that I found here is Olivera. It's no surprise, it's a really good soothing, calming, nourishing ingredient again. It is alcohol free, but unfortunately it does contain fragrance. And this is the fragrance I'm talking about. The typical Korean Asian skincare, especially an old school skincare they would have. I love it because I grew up with it. My mom, everyone that I know, the fancy product I smell when I was little, they all have the same smell. But you might not really enjoy it if you're someone prefer fragrance free or your skin's going through some sensitivity changes. So it's really personal. I want to mention that because it's a quite strong scent. To me, it scented like a aloe vera scent, but it's not the true aloe vera plant. It's the artificial aloe vera that we created to mimic the plant. I found this one having a more liquid texture compared to the Make Pram cream that I just mentioned. It is not matte finish, but it is not sticky. It kind of have a sheer, like a satiny finish, not really. The finish of this one reminds me of the Neutrogena for the face body SPF 50 sunscreen. I reviewed this years ago. I can leave that video link somewhere if you want to check it out. I found it's very similar, but this one is more nourishing because I think they have more skincare ingredient here than the Neutrogena sunscreen. No skin, no peeling, works perfect with makeup. Because of how moisturized, if you often need a very highly moisturized primer, on the day that is a little bit more, you know, rather than really dry, like quite wet, humid day, you can probably get away with it not using the primer. I've been only using like pore minimizing primers when I use this. However, with some of the sunscreen that I use, I do have to like kind of prep my skin again. So I really like this on the go for in and out quick, go to work or just pop into the shop to grab a milk and then I'll come back situations like this um, but I kind of like hoping they have a better ingredients when they're craving for a sunscreen in terms of all those chemical and physical filters the last two are both to a winning product and I don't think anyone would surprise if I say I really love this more than everything else that I've tried before which is the NSA sunscreens. I've got two here. One is a limited edition. Don't you love the limited packaging? I absolutely adore it. They have another different face, but I think that was a little sad one. So I purchased this happy face. I purchased this when I was in Hong Kong and the price that I got, I think now I'm thinking about it, it's around $20 here in Australia, a little bit more than that, to purchase two. If I purchase one, it's definitely around $30 in Australian dollar. Um, the retail price of these two are $45 for 60 mil and pretty much the same across Yes Style or Stellana. Stellana have like a buck buy, so you can save more because you're buying more, where Yes Style just sell individual ones, which I think it's slightly more expensive. Every year they kind of have a little bit of new and uh, innovation in terms of their formula. So I am testing ones, I believe for 2023, because I just purchased this one I was in Hong Kong and I looked every chemist is selling exactly the same. Like they don't have like 2022 version still left over to sell. Nope, they're all up to date. So this is exactly the newest version from NSS Sunstream. I have the 
I don't know what color do you call it, it's like a flash pink or something, lilac pink. This is their perfect UV sunscreen mild milk. And then we have this one, this is their standard one but with a limited edition packaging. The perfect UV sunscreen skincare milk. They do have a few other ones and I was wanting to purchase but I want to get the bundle deal to buy one get the other one 25% off and I have a few vouchers when I was shopping there and they just don't have enough for me to purchase so I purchased the two that I think most people would enjoy. This one the mild milk is for sensitive skin where the skincare milk is just for general normal skin type for everyone. The amount of two, very very minimal differences, like if you're going to purchase one is running out, you can just grab the other one as a replacement, but while I was using them side by side and testing purpose, I do like the original a little bit better because I don't have that sensitive skin and I like the finish from the original a little bit better. Um, so we're going to talk about my slightly least favorite and second my favorite to the last. We have SPF 50 plus here, PA4 plus is again, so really high UVA and UVB protection. It claims to have physical and chemical filters here, lightweight, natural matte finish, no fragrance, no mineral oil, no alcohol, no parabens. That's really, really good. And especially important, it's sensitive skin friendly. They say it at the front straight away. So I would definitely go ahead with their claims. I think they're really true to what they're saying here. Ingredient wise, I found a lot more details on this one, which I'm really surprised and very happy to share with you. We have zinc oxide 12.53%. Like I said, anything over 10, I think it's a really good concentration. And they also have titanium dioxide. So they have all physical filters and then not filters, like ingredients. Then we have Uvino A plus 1.5%, Uvino T 150, 1.5%, Tinder Soap S 0.5%. Tinder Swamp S is great for broad spectrum. I did a video before when I was going through Cancer Console Sense Rains talking about these ingredients in detail. So I'll leave that video link there somewhere if you want to check it out. But generally speaking, all the three chemical filters I mentioned are new generation filters. They are slowly getting into the Australian market because a while back we we're not accepting them but now we are which is great news but it takes a while for the company to produce at a relatively low cost and to come buy and to work with the product formula and everything they are doing to come with new products so we don't see them very often in the Australian market especially for a relatively affordable price when they're on sale like $45 for 60 mil I do think it's a bit pricey but I do think it worth every single penny that you spend this is probably one of the best sunscreens that I come across in my life and we also have a hyaluronic acid here as a skincare ingredient so the chemical food is here a new generation really good because they're photo stable so they don't degrade over time like they, they stay on your face to work as effective as long as possible and then you have the mineral ingredients anyway to against the uva and uvb together so i really trust the ingredients here there's one thing i do want to mention though in terms of ingredients super high concentration in silicone super super high so if you someone hating silicone straight away don't worry any of this you won't like it but if you're okay with it like i'm okay with it and i use a lot of pore minimizing primer so i actually kind of really enjoy how silicone brings to my life the smooth and effectiveness um, in terms of my makeup application and how it looks on my skin I recommend this. I recommend this to consider it maybe as a little birthday trade or holiday trade or something. It's super, super runny in texture. It's like the most runniest sunscreen I've ever come across. Literally, I've reviewed, I will say nearly a hundred sunscreens by now, but none of them is as runny as this. Super runny, high in silicone. The silicone is the first ingredient in the ingredient list. The silicone here helps to create that film on the skin, which reminds me of the Hawaii tropical sunscreen that I top, topical sunscreen that I uh, reviewed before, which I'll leave links up here because I've reviewed a lot of them. And it's good that I review a lot so I can compare to let you guys know which to choose among all these sunscreens. It's super quick absorption because of silicone here. And then it create a really nice reflection of the light because of the silicones here. 
it's a dry touch again because of the silicone that we have so i really want to emphasize the point high in silicone just in case that's something you really worry about or against or dislike just not your thing but with the combination how they formulate and everything together i am very very impressed i can use loads of this and it has no peeling no sticky feeling still feel very lightweight and it works just well by itself because it reflects the lights like it minimizes all these pores and imperfections because the fume effect so it really looking good if you're going out and the sun is shining on your face it's just a healthy bounce of natural light but you feel like you've got this nice filter on your face so you can definitely use it on your body it's just i think it's a bit expensive because you need to use a lot and it's very liquid um, it works perfect with makeup there's no peeling as like just mentioned and it's no stinging the only thing between these two are different in terms of experience wise i found this is a little bit more shinier the teeniest tiniest a bit you won't notice if you use the two bottles separately but there are a few days i used one day second day together on different sides of my face and i that's the only thing that i found out Another thing with this one that I found, it claims to be waterproof and I don't know what it says about this. I can't guarantee that. It also claims to have a tone up effect, so a little bit of brightening. I don't think it's a white cast, but a little bit more brightened and it says it's great for a makeup base, which I think for me, someone I like to apply makeup when I'm going out in the sun, it's even better. We again having zinc oxide here, but I don't know how much in terms of percentage. We also have a little bit high in alcohol. This one reminds me of the other ones, Japanese sunscreen. I'll leave a photo here. That one is also high in alcohol, but I love it so much during the summer because it's just so cooling, calming, lightweight, feels good. And on a very hot sunny day, when you apply a thick layer, the alcohol does make it feel a bit better. Um, but I wouldn't use this that frequent during the winter because i can tolerate a little bit more moisturizing ones and i would prefer a slightly more moisturizing version as well this one we have some old school chemical filters to against uvb and we also have titanium dioxide another physical ingredient for sunscreen as well as uvino a plus tinosorb s just looking at a sunscreen ingredient i do think the sensitive skin ones is winning the battle but in Overall, looking at all angles when you have your sunscreen in your skincare routine or as a part of your makeup routine, I do like this one a little bit more. They also have a lot of skincare ingredients here like green tea extract, vitamin E, aloe vera extract as well. Because it says it's a toner sunscreen that to work as a makeup base, it actually containing talc in here, which is quite surprising but i get it why they have it it creates this even better smoothing sort of filter left on your face so when you apply it makeup afterwards or even leave it as your last step your skin looks even more perfected because it reflects like a little bit more just like while you're using a translucent powder apart from melting everything down also create a nice smooth base to apply everything else after this one also contains fragrance in here you can tell this is definitely not for sensitive skin it has all these other things but they really make their sunscreen stands out for different audience that is good because some people might like a fragrance scent or they don't mind it they like the makeup base idea i have to really smell it to tell there's a fragrance i feel like the more that i smell the more is about the alcoholic scent that i've noticed that i'm picking up yeah i feel like more alcohol scent than a proper fragrance like a nice scent a definitely not as heavy as this one as i was mentioning it is a really for a normal skin sunscreen. I feel like this one is even more runnier. Like this is already runny enough. This is number one. This is number two. The most runniest sunscreen I've ever come across. And the cooling effect coming from the alcohol is very noticeable on my face. Again, fume on the skin and I have this dry touch. No peeling, no sting. I can layer it up. I can reapply if I needed to. Works perfect with makeup or without. On the days when I'm really in a rush, I just use this and dot it with concealer, brow, I'm good to go to work. And that's actually working perfect and really enjoying it because it's so liquid. It just absorbs into your skin within no time. The only downside I have to say about the two sunscreen, it's probably just the price. I think it's a little bit more pricier. I definitely feel like if you're traveling to Asia and if you can get the price down to 
less than 30 like 22 30 dollars 20 to 25 australian dollars definitely grab a couple as a backup because it does run pretty quickly because it's so runnier and you just you would really loving to use and using the correct amount of sunscreen because it just feels like so good and so lightweight but it definitely worth every penny that you spend because they are truly like I said, all the sunscreen that I reviewed, I actually like these two the best. I used to love the Cancer Console Invisible Matte Sunscreen. I think it's one of the best sunscreen that you can purchase here in Australia. Re really affordable price, easy access, and a great matte finish. But if you just ask me for personal experience solely based on that, I do feel like these two are better. I hope that makes sense and not confusing you guys. Those are not bad, but this is just a little bit more superior and more premier for what I reach for, what I like. And that's pretty much wraps up today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a like and consider subscribe down below. I am reviewing more sunscreen, not Asian like sunscreen heavy, not K-Beauty or J-Beauty. I'm just reviewing general Australian sunscreen. I'm having two from Cancer Console, the serum sunscreen, the CC cream I'm reviewing. One I really love, one I have a lot to talk about. And then I'm also having a keratin one that I just reviewed. I am about to test a world was tinted face screen as well so after i've gone through a few tinted sunscreens i'll have another video dedicated on them because i know you guys loving them it's saving you the time when you're going out and i just recently purchased a bandai signed sunscreen as well so a lot for me to do and i hope you guys will stick around and have a look of all the other videos i've got i've got skincare and sunscreen makeup reviews and i'm recently doing a lot of advent calendars unboxing because i just love them i like the holiday vibe anyway i hope you stay safe and stay positive and i'll see you guys in my next video bye um just a quick disclaimer before we start i want to explain why i haven't been doing a lot of sense reviews recently i feel my face is really brightened i have a light on i'm just gonna turn it down a little bit this is a um more more